thought that I would amount to end. Hi, this is Kathy from Council Scrappy Counselor Designs. I am here on behalf of Gina's design team with a project from Gina's Designs and it is a sewing machine mini and this is the mini. I really had a lot of fun use, um, creating this project. I love the Sarah so it really was just kind of went together real easily. The sewing machine, the front cover is the only one that has an open. All the rest are solid. So it was real easy to make us um, a mini album. And I'm binding it with um, this ring and these fibers. But for the ease of the video, I went ahead and took the ring out so I could flip it much easier. So I'll get started and this is the first page. I used a Jolie's embellishments. This is an old fashioned girl with a parasol. I used glossy accents on the dress just to um, make it so it wouldn't fall um, apart because it really has several layers. And so I wanted it to stay together. The second page I left blank so that if my friend um, takes this album for her sister, I wanted her to have a page to create something just especially for her sister. And this is page one. I used Recollection Blame. I used a corset. I colored it using the Tim Holtz Distress ink uh, paint. And then I covered that over with um, ultra thick embossing enamel clear. I really like um, her her corsets. They come in several different sizes and they're just so much fun. And this is one of the corsets that she has and it actually has um, it's kind of um, it's laser cut. It's made out of wood and I just made a template and made some journaling picture spots um, for so that she can add as many pictures of things that she would like to have. I'm going to... I had <coughs> had another thought. I'm going to go ahead and use some um, thin ribbon and lace up the front of the um, corset before I give it to her. And then I just have it with a little, um, little chain bead with a clasp and then I just put a little bow on that. And then the pocket I made from a die. And I made that from the, the pocket to go with the paper line. And this dress form is one of the sizes that Gina has. I used the ultra, ultra thick embossing enamel on it. It's late at night. I'm beginning to think my tongue is kind of like... <laughs> oh well. Next page. I used a flower punch to make this photo mat. I added a dress form and on top of the dress form I added an old fashioned dress that I just thought was very pretty. On the f each one of the flowers I added a, a tiny um, pearl just to accent the flowers. On the next page, I, there's another dress form. I use ultra thick embossing enamel clear on it over the, I painted it with Tim Holtz um, distress paint. I use the ultra, ultra thick embossing enamel on the wings and I kind of give it a variegated color with silver and a little bit of bronze and mixed and then the gold. I used recollection bling on top of the pocket and then a little piece to hold down the flap. The trim is a box pleated trim I actually got from Walmart and then I covered that on trimmed that off with flatback pearls. 
from Formosa Crafts. This is a, a belly band I made from, actually it was a, um, this is what I made it from, and it's dis distributed by um, Gina's Designs as well. And this is the belly band that I used. It's the tape measure. And um, the belly band is to hold the photo mats or journaling spots, whatever she chooses to use that with. These are some spools um, from that die cut from Gina's and I just kind of put it in a belly band and then put the belly band inside the pocket. The next page I have a photo mat. I have some crocheted lace. I also put the crocheted lace amongst the flowers which are I Am Roses, Wild Orchid Crafts, and Recollections. I then also made out of the paper line I made a tag from the Tim Holtz um, styled labels and then this dress form was used using the same mixture of UT um, as the last two and then the next page I had a lot of fun with this page but when I was creating it I did not keep in mind that I had to put a binding or to bind it somehow to make it into an album and so the it had to go right through my hole had to go right through the wings and right next to the corset and then I actually put the corset on top of another dress form and I colored I used UT on all of these the flowers are for I am roses recollections and wild orchid crafts I do have some really tiny lace amongst the flowers. This corset is also from Gina's Designs. And I put pearls on the front of the corset. I raised the corset up so that I could place this pocket back behind. And this will hold more than what I have in here, but I placed two tags that she can write on or put photos on. And the sticker is from Stampin' Up. I finished it off with a recollection bling. Turn the page over and I have another belly band which holds two of the tags from the freebie card that I showed you. And they have a sewing machine. You can put a photo or journaling on the back as well as this one. And then back behind there is a place for a photo. And then I just put these under the belly band again, which is also a trim that I got at Walmart. This is just a sticker I got from the sticker line. And the porter, the photo mat, I actually punched out the frame, or along the frame, with the flowered punch. And it's from EK Success. The next page I have on the edge die I placed two buttons there's and a spool I placed the some trim to make it look more like a spool there's a pair of scissors and then back behind that um, I have four five different photo mats but something I was looking for, and I realized where it was right before I did this video, is I'm going to place this bobbin I'm going to place right there on the, um, and so I'll glue that down. But these photo mats go right behind it. I found these, I'm not sure where these stickers came from, I got them in a swap. And so there are two of the photo mats that had those and I just kind of added them to the top so she put journaling on the side photos on the back and I kind of put and then I put three layers of trim um, this trim is all from uh, Walmart and three and then I turned it on the back 
there is, um, I made a pocket out of the paper line. On top of the pocket, I placed a dress form. And on the dress form, I added um, Recollection Bling, some trim to make uh, the dress, the bottom side of the dress. And I put three layers of the trim. And, and I used glossy accents on the dress form to just to make it shiny and to pop out. And then this little wooden um, sewing machine I actually got from a swap. I went ahead and used the UT on it as well. And it just was just made for this album. I think it's just perfect. This hat is from Genus Designs. I added a feather from a sticker and then I used glossy accents on it with a pearl. This corset is also from Genus. I added black UT to it. Finished this page off with Recollection Bling. The very last page I have another dress form. Also put I used UD on it. Use UT on the tricycle, the old fashioned tricycle. I just thought those were so cool. I always liked them even when I was little. I like those. I made a pocket and in this pocket I also put a belly band of the flowers and then put beads or little tiny pearl beads right in the center. This spool is from Genus that came with the album as well as a large pair of scissors. However, the large pair of scissors I had put in the wrong place so when I had to add the hole for the ring, um, the scissors were kind of big so I, I ended up having to cut them off and couldn't save them so which is I'm kind of disappointed but and needless to say it did need to be put together so and it was just my mistake kind of learn as you go I guess in some ways this little book is a 6 by 12 may and I just folded it to make this little mini book and in this mini book it has places for tags so I'll get to that. Each page has a dress form on it, done with UT. The last two in this book are I used stickles on. So I'll get to that. The front of the book has some trim. All it goes all the way around the book, and on the front has the paper um, flower trim as well. I added pearls to the front, and then you open it up, and then there's a place for a photo and journaling, and then there's a dress tag. And then there is a tag. She also can put photos or journaling on. Next page, same thing, just a different dress form on each page. That's what makes this little book kind of fun. Then I also have a tag that I put a ribbon on so they just have to pull it out. Next page, place for a photo, journaling. This has stickles and and this has a top tag. So take that out. And then the last page is um, another dress form that I used stickles on. And that was the little book and it just goes right inside. There. And then the, the last page um, really is a, it's just the back of the book. I found this little acetate dress form that was already pre-printed on and it's kind of a smoky color but I really liked it so I'm going to hit put it on the back and then I'll just put my information here for um, the person who receives this and anyway I am waiting for a charm to to come so that I can put it on to the uh, ring when I get it so it will be dangling off the front. Anyway, I'd like the photos will follow, so stay tuned for the details of the photos. And the information for Gina's blog and Facebook and her store will follow. Thank you for stopping by and taking a look at this project for Gina's Designs. And I want to encourage you to get out your crafting stuff and enjoy having a good crafting day. Thanks. Bye.
thought that I would amount to anything at all. I get that things have changed, yet I still feel the same. Take my place, but you can't.